What's going on people, it's Casey from www.kc-sounds.com Today's video I'm going to show you how to use automation in Logic Pro X So first of all, automation is a, a useful tool for ma manipulating anything, any parameter within your synths or in your, your volume changes or just tweaking certain parts of your, your, your sound, your song just to make it a bit more interesting <clears throat> So for what first of all, I'm going to show you how to automate your volume use on this synth part here. I'm going to show you two different modes in automation that you can use. So first of all, to get automation up, you can click on show automation or you can go to mix and click on show automation. But what I like to use is A. So if you just click A, it will show you automation. It's a shortcut. It's worth knowing. It speeds things up, it speeds up your workflow. So for this one, I'm going to turn the automation on, click A. And then there's there's a couple of ways you can use automation. You can either just draw in your, your bits of automation. Uh, you can use your marquee tool and automate certain parts, or you can just click on where you need to automate, which is which you did by just clicking and making certain points, little nodes there, and just automate. Or you can do it in real time. So you can click on touch which means you can move the fader, but wherever it was before you move the fader, it will jump back up onto that point that it was originally. Let me show you, because it will make more sense. So I'll bring the fader down, and I'll, when I let go, it will jump back to that same spot that it was originally. I hope that makes sense. Me personally, I don't really like to use touch. I much prefer to use latch. So when you use latch, what it does is wherever the fader is, it will stay at that point. And I, I, for me, I, put, I prefer that. Here's an example. for me that's much better once you've done your automation you need to make sure that you put it into read read mode so that logic will read what you've done I prefer to use latch I find it way easier than using touch mode uh, there's also another thing I want to show you as well so for example if you want your volume to come in gradually you can start from whatever point you want to start from and then obviously up to the point where you want it to be heard what I like to do is press T and then W and then move the curve so I make a curve so it comes in in a slope rather than just going up linear that's just me you might not want to use it do that but that's the way I like to do things. I think it... I don't know, I just like the way it's set up, the way it feels for me. So yeah, that's, that's how to use automation. And that's just the volume. Next video, I'm going to show you how to use automation for, for other parts of your song or your beat or whatever it is you're trying to automate. So I hope this video has helped. It's just a brief overview on how to use automation. Hit the like button if it's helped. Hit subscribe. Keep up to date with stuff that I'm doing. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Music is life. Peace.